my dear student in my today's class i'm going to discuss a new chapter uh there is a uh, chapter number 11 and in physics book and in this chapter i'm going to discuss electric power and i want to know how to calculate electric bill boys and girls at first to know electric power i need to know what is called electric work done i repeat what is called electric work done the amount of electric energy is lost by any electrical device is called electric work done i repeat the amount of electric energy is lost by any electric device is called electric work done in next step i want to know how can i find out the equation of electric work done for any electrical device in short that is called resistance say boys and girls this is a resistance and this point is denoted by point a and this point is denoted by point b the value of this resistance is r say at point a electric potential is va and at point b electric potential or voltage is vb let va is greater than vb so i can say that electric current will flow from point a to point b since electric current will flows from higher electric potential to lower electric potential or higher electric voltage to lower electric voltage okay so here at point a electric voltage is va at point b electric voltage is vb so for since va is greater than vb so electric current i passes from point a to point b now electrical charge special negative charge flows opposite direction to the electric current this is the convention of electricity say q amount of charge passing from point b to point a in time t and because of flowing q amount of charge the amount of electric work done which was required that is called w now my next step i am to find out potential difference or voltage difference at the two end of this resistance here va is greater than vb so voltage at point a must be greater than voltage at point b so va minus vb will be here v so potential difference v will be called to va minus vb and we know that the definition of voltage or potential v that will be called to w divided by q now i am to find out electric work done or equation of electric work done so here w is called electric work done will be called to v into q in this equation number 1 here Q is the total charge, total charge. Here V is the voltage difference. Difference, and here W is the electric work done. Electric work done. Work done. Now. is very tough to calculate electric charge the number of electric charge that's why we need to convert this charge q into other physical quantity but how can i convert this all if you know that from the fundamental definition of electric current i that will equal to q divided by t or you can say that here q that will equal to i into t and then from equation number 
you can easily say that W will equal to V. In the place of Q, you can replace the value of Q, that is I into T. So, V I T is the equation number 2, is the another equation of electric work done. In next step, I am to apply here Ohm's law. According to Ohm's law, V will equal to I into R. So, in the place of V, if I apply I into R, then I can say that here I into R into I into T. <coughs> so, totally the value will be here I square R into T. This is another phase of electric work done. Now, if I replace I, then I will equal to V divided by R. So, in the place of I here, I can apply the value I, that is V divided by R. Now, V divided by R whole square into R into T. So, in short, this is V square divided by R into T. This is the fourth equation of electric work done. Now, in summary or in short, you can say that the whole equation of electric work done W, that must be the first one is VQ. The second one is here VIT. The third one is here I square R into T. And the fourth one is here V square divided by R into T. So, this is the complete equation of electrical work done. I repeat, this is the complete equation of electrical work done. So, W equal to VQ, will equal to VIT, will equal to I square RT, will equal to V square divided by R into T. In next step, I have to know the equation of electrical produced heat the equation of produced heat you see boys and girls uh, heat is a kind of energy and work done is equivalent to energy so the equation of electrical work done will also equal to the equation of produced heat say you want to apply a electrical heater or you want to apply a resistance you want to find out from which equation you want to find out uh, the produced amount of heat here that equation must be uh, the equal to equation of electric work done in short I can say that produced heat H will equal to W or electric work done or work done will equal to also VQ it's also VIT it's also here I square R into T it's also here V square divided by R into T so this is another a complete equation of electric work done as well as produced amount of heat now i'm going to start my main topic in my lecture that is electrical power boys and girls power equal to you know that work done divided by time or work done per unit time in the case of electricity electric energy is expanding by any device or lost by any device per unit time is called electric power i repeat electric energy is expanding or lost by any device per unit time is called electrical power an electrical power is denoted by p in short p will equal to w divided by t in next page, I have to find out the equation of electrical power. Say boys and girls, this is resistance, this is resistance R, and this point A and this point B. From point A to point B, here, I amount of current passing through, and in opposite direction, the total Q amount of charge flows. And the value of this resistance is R. And the potential difference or voltage difference at the two end of this resistance, that is V. So, we can say that the whole equation of electric work done W will equal to from a, from a previous page. I can say that 
the first one is vq then the second one is here v i t and the third one is here v square divided by r into t and the fourth one is here i square r into t this is the whole equation of electric work done now i want to find out the equation of electric power you know that electrical power p will equal to work done divided by time so when work done is when work done is v w equal to v i t then power p will equal to in the place of w can replace v i t here so v i t here divided by t so i can say that v i <coughs> then electrical power electrical work done if w equal to v square by r into t then if i want to find out electrical power p i can say here v square by r into t divided by t so the equation of power is v square divided by r in next step if w equal to i square r into t then i can say that electric power p will equal to i square r into t divided by t will equal to here i square into r so the equation of electrical power p mainly first one is v i second one is v square by r and the third one is here i square into r okay if p is the power and w is work done then this also and another equation of electrical power that is w divided by t that is w divided by t so this is the complete equation of electrical power in next step boys and girls next step i have to calculate i have to know how can i calculate electric bill i repeat how can i calculate electric bill